It's hard to understand what a North Korean regime thinks and, and what they're actually um, thinking about this Iran deal. Uh, but if, if I were them, I think the phasing of any deal would now be incredibly important, which is that they're going to want to have any agreement happen where it's going to be the U.S. does something and then North Korea does something. Um, they're not going to sort of want to <coughs> unilaterally do everything with the hopes that the U.S. will do something because they saw what happened with the Iran deal. We don't know if the administration or another administration might, might reverse. So I think that's something that would be running through their minds. Uh, if I were them, I would demand a treaty. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but they may, you know, demand that and then try to get something um, in exchange for it or to say, well, how are you going to protect us to make sure that this deal is actually going to be executed if it's over many, many years? But I think the other thing it does is it does sort of so, so I voted against the Iran deal. Um, I was one of the few Democrats that did that. I thought basically because of their sunsets in it, it was going to allow Iran to have an unlimited ability to enrich nuclear weapons in about 10 or 15 years. I thought that was bad. But it did have pretty intrusive inspections uh, in the deal. It did cause Iran to ship out a bunch of its uranium. It did cause them to pour concrete into one of their reactors. So. Any deal now with North Korea would seem to have to at least exceed the Iran deal in terms of things that were uh, uh, put in. And I think that's a pretty high standard because you're going to have extremely intrusive inspections of a very closed regime. Maybe North Korea will, will, uh, will do that. I, mean, I don't know. But I think the Iran deal does at least sort of up the bar in what, what's going to be negotiated in terms of what this administration, I think, would want to accept.